the Gender Mainstreaming Evaluation Framework. Chapter 5. Discussion of GMEF Descriptors and MOVs. Let us now discuss the GMEF descriptors and its corresponding means of verification per level. The policy descriptor matrix tracks the progress of an organization's efforts in integrating GAD in its plans and policy issuances. At level 1, organizations issue policies supporting the elements of GAD planning and budgeting review existing policies to ensure consistency with new GAD issuances, and issue documents to support attendance to GAD-related events. At Level 2, the focus is on policy enhancement and improvements to ensure they can address the gender needs of its internal and external clients. At Level 3, a GAD agenda or strategic framework is already adopted and implemented to ensure sustained action to mainstream GAD. At level 4, plans and policies of the organization have already resulted in positive impacts. And finally, at level 5, the organization's gender-responsive plans and policies are continually enhanced and used as standards by other organizations. The People Descriptor Matrix tracks the organization's progress in ensuring that its people contribute to its gender mainstreaming efforts. At level 1, key people are designated to be part of the GFPS. Appropriate capacity development sessions on GAD are also provided to top management, GFPS, and staff members. At level 2, the organization ensures that its program implementers are trained to do gender analysis and clients are given opportunities to articulate their gender issues and are considered in the design of program and projects. At Level 3, top management, GFPS members, and program implementers are consciously integrating gender perspective in the organization's regular operations. At Level 4, the organization's GAD champions are able to develop GAD-related tools customized to the mandate of the organization and tapped as GAD resource person within their organization. And at Level 5, organization GAD champions are already recognized by other organizations and its top management are able to raise GAD concerns during high-level meetings. The Enabling Mechanism Descriptor Matrix tracks the organization's progress in ensuring that mechanisms to mainstream the gender perspective are established and fully functional. At level 1, the organization has established or reconstituted its GFPS as a catalyst for gender mainstreaming. It is also at this level where the organization conducts exploratory engagements with GAD-related institutions and experts. At level 2, other GAD mechanisms to address the needs of the organization's internal and external clients are established, and there is a marked increase in the utilization of the GAD budget. At level 3, the organization judiciously utilizes more than the minimum 5% GAD budget allocation while boasting of a fully functioning M&E system and knowledge management system. At level 4, the organization's enabling mechanisms can now track the desired gender-related impacts and are able to produce GAD-related knowledge products. And at level 5, the enabling mechanisms are recognized as models by other organizations and the total budget of the organization is fully gender responsive. The Programs, Activities, Projects Descriptor Matrix tracks the organization's progress in mainstreaming GAD in all of its programs, activities, and projects. At level 1, an organization has expressed initial support to gender mainstreaming through the conduct of GAD capacity development sessions. It has also involved clients to ensure that their gender issues are taken into account, and sets up a GAD corner containing GAD IEC materials. At level 2, the organization already has a GAD agenda or strategic framework to guide its gender mainstreaming efforts. Deepening sessions for GFPS members and concerned staff members are also conducted, especially on the application of gender analysis tools. Lastly, IEC materials are customized for the organization's use and a GAD section in the website is planned or set up. At Level 3, the organization ensures that the implementation of its GAD PAPs are monitored. External clients are also capacitated through relevant GAD sessions. Finally, a knowledge management system to ensure the transfer of knowledge on GAD is set up. 
at level 4, the organization ensures that monitoring of its GAD PAPs is sustained and its impacts evaluated. Sector-specific GAD capacity development sessions for both internal and external clients are also conducted, as well as periodic application and reapplication of gender analysis tools. A sustainability action plan for gender mainstreaming is also developed. And finally, at Level 5, the organization is now recognized as a learning hub for its noteworthy GAD efforts. GAD knowledge products and IEC materials produced by the organization are also utilized by other organizations as references or models to develop their own GAD-related materials. The complete list of possible means of verification can be found in the GMEF Handbook.